Hello friends! So, uh, this clip is not going to match what the rest of the video is going to be, but I accidentally deleted the video that was the intro. Um, so I just wanted to say hello and I got a order from Kate Quinn today and it was our first time ordering. So we are going to um, open that up and do a little mini haul. And so um, I'm just gonna jump into that. So you'll see that next. Okay, here we are. I have a baby who does not really want to be put down right now, so we're going to try to do this with one and a half hands. And she likes to grab everything now, so open it. So I can't remember how many things I got, but I didn't want to go too crazy, which one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I got this many, but maybe I did. So, she wants to show you the first one. <laughs> I got three to six because she is four months. This is cute. Very soft. This one is like the Chihuahua one and we're not Chihuahua people, but we do have a dog. Could be cats, I guess, but very soft. Do you like it? Some were like the past collections, and I think one or two was like the new one that had just come out. Oh, that's very pretty, huh? This one is the peacock one, the, the crossover. So that's cute. I do like the quality so far. Do you like that? I just like how they're more like neutral colors which i i put her in whatever the heck we have i'm not i'm not that kind of aesthetically pleasing mom oh techie wants to join so i don't really care but i do like the the colors on these oh that one's cute huh they're very stretchy and thin which is nice for here in florida so that's cute I, these last three all look like the same thing so that's weird i just don't remember what i ordered Tucker. <laughs> what are you doing oh that one's cute it's like the the bubble on the bottom so you don't have to wear shorts with it which we are all about because it is getting hot huh yeah what Short sleeve bodysuit. I think they gave me two of this one, which I ain't mad about. But I'll have to check the order. Maybe I ordered two. And that is this one is the same print, just the short sleeve kind of onesie like, but it has the the crossover right here with the buttons. So that's cute. I think she likes it. No, ew, ew. No licky. No Mickey on the face. And same thing. Same print. Same shirt. That's really weird. I mean, I'm all about it, so I don't have to wash it as often, but that's it. They're very cute. I do I do like the quality. It's it's really thin, which is nice. I think that's what they go for. But it's like no, it's this coast from bamboo so that's nice um some are some have a little different feelings than the other ones like this one is a little bit thicker and this one is like super nice and stretchy so maybe it's the i don't know maybe it's just the material quit don't put that in your mouth ew we gotta wash those <laughs> ew yucky so I did want to get a few things before I like order all the time. I see people on Facebook always talking about it and like I always want to do it, but I have a really hard time pulling the trigger on online orders. I don't know. I will add like six things to my cart with the best deal, this and that. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to get it. And I add them and I go to check out and then I just never finish it. Does anyone else do that? It's really bad. Like, 
I can go to the store and like not hesitate on spending a hundred bucks on whatever on random crap at Target. Hi. But when it's online, it just seems like so many steps and there's so many steps that I can not go through to not spend the money. I don't know. I have a hard time justifying spending anything, which I think is good. It's a good habit instead of spending a ton of money, but... And yes, we are filming in her room. We still have her little Christmas tree up from her. From her G, huh? But that's okay. It's not really Christmassy, so I think we can keep it. But anyway, we have Tucker over here sniffing around her closet. And it's a mess. We have stuff that needs to be hung. We have stuff that doesn't fit her yet that was gifted to us. We have her crib that she does not even sleep in. Oh, goodness. I'm struggling right now because I'm still using my phone. I'm using uh, diaper boxes and our <laughs> what's that face? And uh, our carrier box is a tripod, you know. Um, so yeah, there's some cute stuff here. I'll have to wash it and then I can put it on her, and we can see how it fits. We actually just went to the doctor yesterday, and she was let's see, right at 15 pounds and 24 inches long. So. She's a little bit above average for both, which is fine. But it seems like three to six, I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but three to six is like not even barely fitting her anymore. Like the, the body does because she's not chunky, but she's so long that everything is like so short. And like her PJs, her little feet, she normally, when she like kicks out, is stretching. And I don't know if, I mean, it probably doesn't bother her, but... It's just kind of annoying. There's only some brands that I've realized we'll probably have to buy from now on for her length. But yeah, so that's that. Let me get going because I think it's now. All right, so we got the first outfit on. This is the little bubble one around here. It is very, very, very soft. You like it, baby? It's really soft. It did good in the wash. I'm not sure if the color faded or anything. At some point, it'll pull down because that's normally what happens it pulls down up here but it seems to fit really well um we'll see how it goes throughout the day huh yeah um but yeah we like it a lot it looks like it has a lot of room to grow over here too she's like see she doesn't have very like chunky thighs she's still a little small so they're a little big but it's perfect huh yeah all right here we are again I got a little bit ready. Normal outfit on. Charlotte has been hard to go to sleep. I normally have her in our halo here, um, even for naps, but I'm gonna be working in this room for a little bit, so I put her in her crib. And she has been fighting it for the past, I don't even know what time it is, but half hour, I would say. I'm trying to get her to fall asleep while she's still awake so that I don't have to rock her to sleep. She does normally pretty well with it in the bassinet next to me, um, but I think being somewhere different, she is a little bit thrown off, but she is out now. Thank goodness. So we have probably at least like 45 minutes to get some stuff done. Um, but I am in here. In the last video, I talked about how our master is the last one that is not done. We moved in last June. We got the, let me get some better light. We got the downstairs done, the kitchen done, Charlotte's room done, um, downstairs bathroom done, all of that painted and stuff. Well, actually Jake's mom. And stepdad did most of it but anyway um our master is the last room that we kind of decided is not was not the most important um at the time so we went ahead and left it and the girl before us has this really dark gray which coming from her last apart apartment i wanted to nix all of the gray i didn't want any cool tones i wanted browns i wanted beiges um i don't know it feels more homey so this is the back wall behind our bed, obviously, which we're getting new bed stuff too. But anyway, um, she had wallpaper or whoever did all along this wall 
and it was like thick foam painted and we pulled it all off but it left these like white marks let's see over here this whole section over here is like still on and I don't know if you've dealt with wallpaper before I have not um but it they like you put paste down or something so it sticks in certain places anyway what I'm trying to do is I'm going to try to get all the stuff off because we want to paint um I have a few samples over here I want this back wall a matte black and I want every other wall white because I think it'll just look good um modern more modern more clean um yeah and we're gonna probably be well hopefully i think we're gonna try to rent this place out in a couple of years so i think it'll be better and then we'll try to get the bathroom done which is an attached section over here um but yeah i'm just probably gonna do a little bit of this today so i'll speed that up and we can see what we can get done crap is oh my gosh if you're thinking about getting wallpaper just don't don't do it it's like a negative five out of ten don't i would not recommend this stuff is like i mean do you see it all down here i'm using a steamer because we read that if you get it wet it can peel off better which it does but it's still not like perfect because you can see like this crap here. Oh my gosh. And look, it pulls the paint off the wall, which we're not really concerned about because we're painting over it. But come on, this is like one section that I have not even finished. I've got like this done and there's still tiny little pieces on the wall. Oh my gosh. Jake wanted me to do this because I'm home, which I get, you know, but I need his help. Plus those are really high up and I don't want to like stand in the, I want to stand on that, which I probably will, but oh my gosh, this is so I'm going to try to keep doing a little bit more and I will update you once it looks decent. Also, I just wanted to tell you that I did check the order and I did accidentally order two of the tops that I thought that they just gave me an extra for. I guess I saw it and I thought they were $10 each, um, but I think they were $5 each and it said times two, so I did get two, so <sighs> yes, that's okay. So I definitely would recommend them from our first experience. She seems to like them. I mean, not that she can tell me if she likes them, but, <laughs> but I like them and they're very soft um, and they're good quality and they're affordable I think um so I think we'll keep buying them good afternoon say hello it is the next day I did not work on the room anymore because I was kind of tired of it but I'll go ahead and end this right now I don't know how long this vlog is what did you just have a nice nap <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know how long this vlog is, so we will see when I edit, but I will say we are wearing another Kate Quinn outfit. It's so cute with the peacocks on it. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to go to Target, so I might do a haul a little bit later, um, but we will see you next time. Bye.